Welcome in my math party people. I got a doozy for you. This one here today is a challenge question because it has to do with seemingly distance rate time, which is true in part, but there's an added layer to this problem that makes this an advanced word problem. So I'm Coach Anderson, welcome in. And before I begin, all I gotta say is, if you like the way I teach at the end of the video, just give this video a like, give it a thumbs up, and comment your favorite part if you learn anything at all. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and get started with the question itself. Always start with the question, what is it that we want? And we see here that it says, how long is it until the event is set to start? Okay, so what we're looking for is a time value. So I'm gonna say time, until event equals blank. And I'm looking at the answer choices. They all say hours. So I'll go ahead and say, again, we're looking for some number of hours. Super simple, right? Let's take it careful here. Watch me nice and slowly because I'm going to show you again how this is a distance rate time problem, but it's also a system of equations problem. So if you're in my program, this is going to be unit number 13. This is an advanced word problem, okay? So here we go. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and check out some of this information here. We see that Ronald is driving to an event um, that starts at a certain time. He knows that if he drives at 80 miles an hour, he'll arrive five hours early to the event. Okay, so on one hand, if he picks up the speed, 80 miles an hour, he'll get there five hours early. If he drives at 55 miles an hour though, he'll get there on time. Okay, so we wanna know how long is it until the event is set to start. But notice how we were given two scenarios. On one hand, let's write this out. And let me actually, to make it easier on you, I'm gonna start with this one here. If he drives at 55 miles per hour, he'll be on time. Oh, guess what? If you wanted to join all of our classes for a full week for free, then I highly recommend you join our full program trial, no credit card required, and it's easy to join. All you have to do is text TRIAL to 833-321-0182 or check the link in the description of this video to get started. Super easy, and I hope you raise your score and show you the right way. Let's go. So here, I'll go, I'll go ahead and say here, at 55 miles per hour, our distance, we don't know. Our rate, 55 miles per hour, correct. And then the time, well, the time is on time, which Again, that would be what we're looking for, the time until the event starts. So the amount of time it takes for him driving at 55 miles per hour would be how long it'll be until the event starts. So that's a really good thing for us. And so I'll just go ahead and mark this. I'll just leave it as T, okay? Now on the other hand, watch how this really comes together. This is really, really cool. Cause you see that on the first case here, he says if he drives at 80 miles an hour, he's gonna arrive five hours early to the event. So the biggest question before we continue could be, well, how do we represent that? How am I supposed to write that out? Well, remember, we have two different scenarios here. The, the last scenario that we wrote down over here, 55 miles an hour, that's the rate. T can just be T, that's on time. We don't know the distance though. Now in this case in purple, let me change my tone here. We see here that we have the rate, again, at 80 miles per hour. We see that the distance we don't know the rate is gonna be 80 miles per hour, but we know that the time here, five hours early. Hmm. So if we're gonna represent the time until the event starts with just T, it starts T hours from now, it would have been on time here, but here it would be T minus five. Because again, five hours early. So however long it would have taken you before, we take away five hours, that's what five hours early means. So are you starting to get where I'm going with this? Because that wasn't the toughest part. The toughest part is realizing that, hey man, these two distances over here, this distance and this one over here, these are the same exact distance. Again, we're, not, we're just talking about different speeds and different times, but the distance to the event is the same. It's the exact same. It doesn't matter what scenario you're going under, the distance remains the same. So we can use that to our advantage and we can say that if we set up this formula over here as distance equals rate times time or distance equals 55 times T, over here in purple, when we say distance equals 80, the rate 
times time, which is t minus five, well, guess what? These two distances are the same. Because they're the same, we can set these equations equal to each other. That's what makes this complicated. Now that we have this setup, we can set them equal to each other, and now we're good. So allow me to make one piece here a little smaller. Actually, I'll probably just take all of this, make all of this a little smaller, put that right over here. But again, like we said, we can go ahead and place these formulas together. So we have D equals 55T, and we have D equals 80 times T minus five. We'll set these equal to each other because these distances are the same. So we'll have 55T equals 80 times T minus five, and that's it. Now we just solve this and we're done because we're looking for the time until the event starts, which is T, T hours. So here we go, let's have some fun. We're gonna go ahead and distribute the 80. So that'll be 80T, 80 multiplied by negative five is minus 400. And now that we're here, we will continue on by going ahead and subtracting 80T from both sides, right there, allowing us to cancel that out, leaving us with negative 25t equals negative 400. Now that we're here, all we have to do is divide both sides by negative 25, and we are done. So the negative 25 cancels out on the left, giving us t equals, so that'll be 400 divided by 25, which for every 100, that's four, so that would be 400, four, eight, 12, 16. So that would be 16 hours after a little bit of mental math there, and that's our answer. Again, it's not an easy problem by any means, but if you've had the chance to practice distance rate time problems excessively, then this is gonna be the next step that you wanna look for. So as always, my party people, you know I love working with you. My name's Coach Anderson. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit the like, go ahead and leave a comment if you learned anything new, and then subscribe to the channel for more. And as always, if you're looking to learn more about our program, it's exactly how my students raise their scores and get the jobs they want. Go ahead and text PROGRAM to 833-321-0182 and raise your score today. I'm Coach Anderson, and I will see you in the next video. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.